Hey you guys, my name is Katie Robinson and if you're new here, um, then thanks for joining me on this journey. We are expecting our first baby um, and it's a little boy in a couple months. I think I'm 31 weeks right now. So I just wanted to go over with you guys. We had our baby shower at 30 weeks and I wanted to go over some of the things that we got so that they can help you. Um, I definitely kind of curated our registry and we got some extra fun things from family and friends. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the things we got at our shower um, so it can help you in deciding what you wanna put on your registry if you are an expecting mama like me. So let's get started. Also, make sure, um, really quickly before I forget, pregnancy brain, you know, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notifications for when I post, um, and give this video a thumbs up. If it was at all helpful to you, I would really appreciate it. It means so much. So let's dive into things. I, um, got some really really useful items and some also just like really cute items. So one of the things that I got from my aunt um, is this. It's actually called the Sleep Sheep um, and it looks like just a stuffed animal but it is a white noise maker and a timer um, and it also plays like soothing sounds. Okay. Can you guys hear that? Okay, so the first thing, first time I turned this thing on, I literally thought like, who would give this to a baby? It sounds like a freaking alien invasion, like extraterrestrial life. It was so weird. Um, but I researched it more and it's actually pretty cool. So um, I think I would definitely like give this to our son in, like right in the newborn phase, but look into it because it was really interesting to me. The sounds that it's making are designed to mimic what the baby's environment was like in the womb. So. The first sound that you heard was actually what the mom's heartbeat sounds like to the baby in the womb. And then um, the other sounds were like water sounds and the kind of weird like ET-ish sounds are movement as it relates like gastric movement and just external movement as it relates to um, what it would sound like basically when the sound waves are moving through the womb. So. I actually started thinking it was really cool and not as like creepy as I initially thought um, when I looked into it some more and so I thought like it could be just the best adjustment thing for a baby like hey here you are in the real world and like everything is different and you are in this little float pod of happiness and warmth. Um, so I actually think these sleep sheeps are pretty cool. So look into those if you have a little one on the way. Um, the next one is the Wubba Nub. Now I've heard mixed things about the Wubba Nubs. First of all, I just think they're adorable and this was from my girlfriend Jenna um, and it looks like our dog Daisy May. We have a yellow lab named Daisy May. So um, I think it's just kind of cute because it would give our son something that looks like our pupper who is our first child. Um, the Wubba Nubs are made by Philips um, and the same people that make the Advent passi Passies. Um, some kids love the Wubba Nub, some kids kids hate it. I know as a newborn it's not really going to be a thing, but as they start to be able to like grasp and hold, they hold on to the stuffed animal and suck on the passy. So we'll see if he likes it. If not, maybe our kids will down the road. So that's the Wubba Nub. Um, I did get some of the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. Um, I don't know if it'll focus for you guys on this. It's my camera struggling. My camera's struggling with the up close. I don't know, but it is the Earth Mama. Here, there we go. That's the Earth Mama organic nipple butter. Um, actually, I haven't even smelled it yet. It smells organic. Um, but I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, I'll either try to link it below or it's in my blog post and on my Instagram stories. I am planning on breastfeeding, so. Um, 
I've heard that this is really helpful and can be really helpful in the initial painful phases in the hospital. Um, the next thing is this really cool um, toy that I put, I put some intellectual toys on our registry. Um, this has like sound and all these different things that the baby can chomp on and just look at. It has some mirrors. Um, so I thought it was kind of a cool toy for newborns. Um, not newborns, but like for tummy time and as they get older to just kind of stimulate different parts of their brain. So um, that was from my girl, one of my college roommates. Um, I got these myself, the Baby Gannix All-Purpose Multi-Surface Wipes. Um, I wanted to use these in the baby's room on the changing table. Um, and also just, uh, I'm, I'm torn on getting a regular, I'm, I'm going to have two changing stations in the house, one upstairs and one downstairs, um, one upstairs in his nursery. And um, I'm thinking about putting the cushion changer downstairs and I wanted to get a Kikuru peanut changer. I'm not, I haven't been able to justify the price yet. They're like a hundred some dollars and they're like this silicone foam material. So they're not foam because they don't absorb um, poop and all that other nasty stuff that ends up on a uh, changing pad but you can wipe them down and I love the idea of that like okay here's this thing it's not cold to the touch I went and checked it out in the store at Bye Bye Baby um, it's not cold to the touch it doesn't uh, feel uncomfortable but it is like this um, peanut shaped baby changer that you can just like wipe down or spray off. I love that idea. Like I struggle with laundry, which is one of the reasons why I've been hesitant to like delve into the world of cloth diapering. Laundry is definitely like one of my fails as a spouse. Um, I always get behind. And so having one less thing to like launder as far as changing pad covers is great. That being said, our upstairs changing pad um, looks like this. It's a traditional um, changing pad, but uh, it has this really pretty, kind of honestly like honeycomb cover um, from Blue Snail. And that was from um, one of my husband's aunts. It's so, so cute. And we love it. Um, and it just like goes perfectly with the nursery. It's, it's really precious. Um, I did get some Aquaphor baby diaper ointment um, just for diaper preventing diaper rash and whatnot and just hydration in general. The Aquaphor stuff is amazing. I have a tattoo and which you guys probably don't even know. A lot of you don't know. Um, and Aquaphor is just like the healing ointment and it's incredible. So we have that. Um, this is all coming from my diaper cavity. Um, I think this is going to go downstairs to my downstairs changing area. But um, diaper caddies are great. My girlfriend Sierra has one. She uses it all the time. She made me register for one and I'm so glad I did because it just keeps everything organized in one place. Um, I have the water wipes which are supposedly like really really pure um, and good for baby. Um, we've got it stocked up with diapers. And then I do have these Ubby, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Ubby, um, diaper wipe uh, container. So it's like this nice, it has a seal here um, and then the wipes will come out of here and, and this is like weighted. So it kind of weights um, them down and that'll sit uh, downstairs on our changing table there and upstairs on our changing table up here. I did opt to go for a dresser in the nursery. Um, it's actually a dresser that matches some of our other furniture already. And it's a gray um, Ikea Hemnes dresser because I was thinking like, okay, the baby's only going to use a changing table for so long. Let's just go with a plain dresser um, that we can put a changing pad on top and then it'll have it forever and it'll go with the rest of our furniture. So we went with the dresser and I couldn't be happier. I love having a dresser instead of a changing table. And I kind of put together the pieces of the nursery instead of just buying a whole set um, from Bye Bye Baby, and I'm also really happy I did. You'll see our crib um, in the nursery reveal, but it's from Million Dollar Baby Classic, and it is just precious as well. So that's Diaper Caddy. Uh, Mike's grandmother got us so many cute clothes, I'm not even gonna take all of them out. They're like adorable, and she's super stylish. 
um, but she got her son a bunch of precious clothes and also the diaper pail that you can see over there in that corner. Um, and all the refills, it's a diaper genie. Um, I ended up going with the diaper genie. I looked into some of the fancier ones. I looked into some of the less fancy ones. I'm hesitant on the diaper genie because you have to buy the diaper genie bags for it versus one where you could just buy regular trash bags. But um, I love the odor lock technology with the diaper genie. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you guys on that one. I'm a little... I was worried with the dog and everything else like I just don't want to deal with odors up here and it's not downstairs like I don't have it downstairs um I'll probably get a cheapo one for downstairs but I did want the diaper genie because I don't know how often um we'll be able to take out the bags up here if it was a situation where oh my gosh baby hiccups I'm so sorry um but if it was a situation where I would be able to take the trash out like I don't know every day or take the diapers out every day just into my back trash can like I don't think I would have been so intent on having the bags that twist but I really wanted it for up here so we went with that um, my sister got a ton of freaking adorable clothes like um, Ralph Lauren like baby onesies and all this other stuff but these I'll show you guys these they're the baby Sperry's like what how cute are these so she got us those, um, and it goes with like a whole Ralph Polo Oxford and like baby blue jeans, and it's so cute. Um, Mike's grandma also got us these super precious receiving blankets, um, which are great and really hard to find. Um, I did get a robe for the hospital that you guys I'm sure will see in like my labor and delivery vlog, um, and I got a swaddle and a matching hat for our son. Um, and I'll wrap him up in this and then it kind of complements the robe that I got for myself for some cute pictures um, in the hospital and then my mom my mom made um, this little guy it's a lovey um, and it's just so cute like for snuggling and stuff um, and he's plush but has a blankie on the bottom as just kind of a, a comfort thing um, my sister-in-law got us this super cute Bobby pillow. I didn't even know Bobby made this cover. Like, I looked at all their, um, covers and didn't see this one. So I don't know where she found it because it's adorable. But, um, it's so cute. I just think it's adorable. So it says happy camper and has little tents and, like, compasses and I just think it's adorable. So... Good, good job on that one. This is our Bobby. Um, my aunt got us this baby monitor. Um, it is the Baby Sense Video Baby Monitor. Now, the reason why I went with this one is because it is not Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. Now, some of you may be like, oh, that's so lame. Like, why would you want that? I don't want someone hacking into my baby monitor. I know too many people that have had baby monitors hacked where some more random creepo is like talking to their kid in the nursery every time they close the door. So this one is, it's only like two way between, it works like a walkie talkie. It's literally from the video monitor to the, from the monitor to the video like transmitter and back. So, um, it doesn't have any other like Wi-Fi like you can't look at it on your phone you can't there's no app um, in some ways it's inconvenient but in other ways like the safety component to me is so much better that it's not a big deal so this is our baby monitor um, and then my girlfriend Sienna got us some great baby bath time stuff as well as my girlfriend Morgan um, this is just like a baby bath cup um, like to pour water on their head um and it seems silly but it's actually also silicone so you can like put it right on their forehead and uh and uh pour water over them but um it's funny because i was like do i register for that and then i opened it in my shower and my girlfriend's here was like oh my gosh that's so smart i'm currently using a shower cream cap 
for, or shower, shower cream, shaving cream, shaving cream cap for that. And I know because I use random things for that, like for the dog all the time. So having a designated thing is great. Um, I did get these precious hooded towels, I believe also from Morgan. Um, baby washcloth as well. Um, Burt's Bees baby washcloths and then super cute little baby hooded towels. They're just adorable. Um, Burt's Bees baby again for the win. So um, we have all those stored away and ready to go. And then I got these uh, Frida baby. The Frida baby ear muffs and these block I'm trying to remember um, I ended up looking online and I compared like the decibel levels of all the different baby earmuffs and these are the ones I decided to go with as far as decibels I'm planning on using them if we go to sporting events or even if we just go to church like our church is great but they play pretty loud music and it's something I've been really conscious of with him in the womb because the amniotic fluid actually amplifies sound by decibels um, and I definitely don't want our newborn in church listening to this loud music and having their hearing um, get affected. And they're really, really sensitive in the beginning. Um, I'm not sure if you guys knew it, but obviously like when sound enters the ear, it is in your cochlea. And your cochlea has um, these things called inner and outer hair cells. And it's these hair cells um, that actually vibrate when uh, sound waves hit them. And the vibration um, tells you what decibel of sound it is, um, what note, I guess you could say, if it was on a, a scale. Or it it um, is sensed by the brain and interpreted and it turns it into like um, music or talking or whatnot. Now the problem is that um, if it's too loud for these hair cells, the hair cells actually die. Um, so a sound hits these hair cells and they um, are killed, basically. And so it's not something you want to mess around with. Um, hearing loss is like a big deal, I think, because we don't realize how sensitive infants' ears are. So I got these baby earmuffs um, from my god sister and godmother, and they're great, and I love them. Um, they got me a bunch of other uh, health stuff and the baby's bath um, insert as well, which is so cute. Um, I did get this Hatch Baby Rest from um, Michael's best friend and his wife, um, my sweet friend Caitlin, and uh, it is so cool. This thing is like going to be my, I sh so showed you guys the sleep sheep earlier. This will be my primary white noise maker um, sound machine, I guess you could say. It also allows you to talk to the kid. Um, and it allows for gentle wake-up cycles, I think that's what they call it. But basically the wake-up um, setting that they have, when the baby gets older, kind of more approaching the toddler years and it's waking up on its own, um, you can do a gradual wake-up set with this thing. You can set a timer and set um, how fast you want the light to turn on and what it does is it actually um, raises the ambient light in the room around the time when you want the baby to wake up. Now, I think this is super cool because it's so much better for our um, sleep systems and our brain waves to wake up gradually like that rather than being, you know, shocked out of sleep and wake cycles from an alarm or a bright light turning on or anything like that. It's also why you want to be really conscious of turning night lights on and turning lights on period when you're breastfeeding in the middle of the night. Uh, definitely messes with your child's circadian rhythms and their sleep cycles and brainwave functions and them getting used to their brainwaves and being able to put themselves back to sleep on their own. Something that adults have learned how to do and do almost subconsciously now. So I think Oh my gosh, pregnancy, I'm so tired. Um, I think that's something that's super cool that Hatch does. Um, this is the Hatch Rest Plus because it has all of those cool features. So that is a really neat thing that we got. Um, the next two things are like newborn teething staples. Um, if you guys don't know already, Sophie the giraffe 
this little giraffe i don't understand why it costs so much money or why it is so popular with children but it is they all love her um so i have the elephant and the giraffe and these are from my sister um this she bought like the day that i found out i was pregnant it was crazy um but i don't i really i really don't understand that why they're so popular but um they are great for little ones when they're teething i believe they're a silicone material um, and they just like chew on them and like them and they keep them from crying. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like baby soothing 101 to have Sophie the giraffe. So yeah, I think that is pretty much everything I'm going to show you guys. I do have a Daca tot, um, that I got sent and we got, um, our crib from Michael's parents, which it's literally the prettiest crib like in the entire universe and I love it and I've just been sitting in the baby's room on my own our chair is also from million dollar baby classic it's a recliner and glider and um, it is extremely comfortable but all of those things you will see in the nursery reveal video when we do the nursery tour so for now i think that's pretty much all i'm going to do for shower recap if you haven't already check out my um maternity and baby hauls that are coming up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos as i pack my hospital bag and i show you guys like what's in my diaper bag which should be really fun i'm actually doing like a whole diaper bag packing video so not just like what's in it but how i pack it um and how i keep it like organized and not overwhelming for our first little one so thank you guys so much for joining me and i will talk to you next time bye okay i totally forgot um but i wanted to show you guys the baby bump right now so i am 31 weeks and this is currently what our little guy is looking like So yeah, our um, little guy is doing so well and despite some of the health things that I've, I've had going on, he has been growing and he is kicking like crazy now. So I'm going to do a um, pregnancy update now that we're in third trimester for you guys pretty soon, talk about some of the symptoms I've been having um, and some of the stuff going on with our little guy. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.